all my spooky ghouls and goblins. Welcome back or welcome if you are a newcomer to this channel. Hi, hello, how are you doing today? My name is Naomi and today we're going to be doing a torrid swim and active wear haul. Um, it's just a portion of some of the stuff that I got. I just received the box today and was going to be doing some filming anyways. So figured I might as well do a small haul since I haven't done toward recently. I think there's also one sleep item. Um, so I'm just going, and I think there's a bra on there as well, but I'm just going to go ahead and oops, haul that all um, for you guys. And if you like this style of video, if you like uh, these items, I did uh, get a lot of other items um, with the Torrid Cash. This is just, I placed two orders uh, with the recent Torrid Cash for the spring. So I got a lot of active wear in my other haul and this is um, other swim stuff. Uh, so again, that stuff's already in my closet so I can always go ahead and pull that out and do a quick like active wear what's in my closet haul. Um, I have recently been very into Torrid active wear. Um, I'm not like, I'm a plus size person. Obviously that's my channel. Um, I'm gonna go on a teeny bit of a rant. Um, so I'm not trying to lose weight. I just like to be active. So I like to go to classes. Uh, for me, I, I go to LA Fitness, not to like push it or anything. I don't care if you go to the gym, whatever. I personally love LA Fitness in Western New York here because there's a pool. Uh, I'm one of those people, I grew up in the South, so I am not going to join a gym unless there's a pool. It's just one of the things for me because I love to swim with such a water person. Um, and I absolutely love the AquaFit class that they have at LA Fitness. So I specifically bought some of these swimsuits to wear at that class because um, I don't really have a lot of swimsuits. A lot of the swimsuits I do have are more like cosplay swimsuits, like I have Wonder Woman um, that I wear to conventions if there's a pool at the place there or that I'll wear to the beach and so on. Um, again, I live in Western New York, so like I don't get out to the beach or to water very often, so going to my AquaFit class every Saturday morning with the teacher Lynn in the Amherst location, it's my favorite class. Um, if you're in the area, you'll know. Um, it's a private gym, so you can say hi to me if you want to, um, but I do re highly recommend her class if you're in the area. Lynn at LA Fitness, the AquaFit class on Saturdays. Um, they do a couple other classes. She also does the cycling class on Sundays. Um, and with the job I have right now, I'm a cleaner. So I pretty much only wear active wear to work now. I used to work in an office uh, during and before COVID. So I wore a lot more of my vintage clothing. I still absolutely love my vintage clothing. Um, I still have my dress and month subscription. I'm gonna keep that until the end of the year, continue doing those videos. Um, but I've kind of been, I, I don't really do a lot of active wear uh, hauls on this channel. I don't think I ever have. I've usually done my like spooky fashion um, and I've kind of, one, I'm saving up for a house. So I've kind of stopped a lot of my spending when it comes to anything. Uh, so the clothes that I do buy now are clothes that I wear to work or to the gym because they're going to get worn. I absolutely love the vintage fashion and I wish that I could wear it every single day. Uh, but that's just not my life right now. Um, every single day I'm wearing activewear. So I figured I would try and integrate that in to this channel. Again, I'm not trying to lose weight. I love my body the way it is and I think you should love your body before you try to change your body. That's my philosophy. Um, I, I'm happy and healthy at the weight that I'm at, at the shape that I'm at. Um, I just want to get healthy and feel good about myself, like feel good and healthy. So for me, that means going to workout classes. Yeah, I've lost a little bit of weight because I've just been moving around a lot with work, uh, but that's just part of the process. I just want to be healthy and happy and be active and flexible because that's just how I am, um, but I'm not trying to, I'm not out there to actually lose weight. And I think you should just want to be healthy before you try to go along that path. Um, but yeah, so along with that, um, I always talk about my measurements and sizes before I talk about any brand. So um, um, I love their products and that they are a plus size company, um, but I have talked about this on this channel before. Um, sm some smaller companies will offer uh, a sizing chart to the garment, um, which I love, but that isn't always possible. Um, especially with larger companies, it's not always possible because they're trying to mass 
manufacture products in a way. Uh, Torrid does that to a point. They're not like a huge company. They're not like Nike or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think of a of a large activewear company off the top of my head or just company in general. Um, they, they're not fast fashion necessarily. Um, their products are better quality, hence they're a little bit more money. On the sizing note, um, they have just a general size chart. So I'll put this up here. Um, my measurements are personally, I always have them linked down below, but I like to say them as well. My bust is a 45, my waist is a 37, and my hips are a 56. So I have quite the shape. <laughs> Um, so I understand trying to fit different measurements all over your body with the same garment. I absolutely love their activewear because it is quite stretchy. Uh, some people do size up in it. I personally don't. Uh, I like my clothing a little bit tighter um, to, to fit my body um, and not to be necessarily oversized. Um, and some of their items tend to be a little bit oversized as well. Um, so I wear a two on the bottoms and a one on the top. I can change between a one and a two on the top, but I feel the two is a little bit larger. And again, I like things to fit a little bit tighter. So one is usually my go-to for the top. I used to just buy twos, uh, but I have gone down a little bit in size. So I should probably update my measurements because they may not be exactly the same anymore. I measured my last last time in the fall um, and I know I have lost about 20 pounds since then so my measurements may have changed um, but right now the two still fits me great and the one still fits me great so those are my measurements and I believe I put the size chart up there they do usually notate in the um, item notes like details about the item um, on their website kind of like the fit of the item and whether it's a little bit oversized and they always list the model and what she personally is wearing along with her measurements so you can kind of get a good idea there based off of the pictures of the model um, and you can also get a really good idea from the reviews on the items uh, because there's a little fit scale on the bottom of each review and it says fit loose fit tight perfect in the middle or something along those lines um, you can see it on their website but I'll give you my honest reviews. I'll try these items on. Um, there's one item that I will be returning just because I saw it in store and it wasn't what I was expecting online. And I'll talk about that. Um, but I'll go ahead and jump in. Again, my format is I will pull out the item, unbox it for you, talk about it a little bit, and I will insert a video of me trying it on. Uh, before I try it on, I will show you the product photo of each item. That way you can get a good idea of what it looks like on the model versus what it looks like on my body um, and again I am plus size and I wear a two bottom and a one top for the most part um, and I am actually wearing all toward today I got this on Poshmark just a few days ago um, I have never seen this before I believe it was in a sample sale that the woman um, found it at this is a beautiful uh, maroon is the word I was looking for active uh, sweatshirt and I really like these zip up active um, jackets uh, for working out and for working in general because I can throw it over a t-shirt or a bra and my work shirt and kind of regulate my temperature a little bit so if I get chilly then I can take it off instead of wearing one whole outfit that's long sleeve or whatever. And I really like this meshing right here. It goes from higher up to lower up. You can see the seam here um, and I think it's, I think it's super cute. It's a teeny bit irritating right here when I have my elbows on anything, but I don't really notice it when I'm working. Um, and it's got these cute little mesh pockets. And I'm also wearing a pair of active leggings that I've never seen before. You'll see me wearing these items when I try on. Um, these are a pair of the yoga pants. They've got a meshing right around the knee as well. Um, if I remember, I'll put a photo up of me wearing them, but you'll also see me wearing them. Um, this is again another pair of leggings that I've never ever seen on their website, and I couldn't find product photos with them. Um, although she had a product photo, so I'm sure that they at least took the photos. Um, and this is also an active v-neck. I actually went and did my Aquafit class this morning, um, so if my hair is a little bit wet, that's why. So these are my clothes that I wear after I go to my aquafit class I do and I do some rowing and some um, abs and arms 
because those are the areas of my body I'm specifically working on. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I literally just came home from the gym, had my box, and wanted to unbox this for you. Sorry that I ranted for a while. I'll try and cut this video down as much as possible, but it's probably not going to be a short one. So let me jump right into the haul. Um, right here. So please ignore this bell. <laughs> just right in front of Bucky um <laughs> but um let's go ahead and start with the sleep item since um that's our only sleep item um and maybe I can find the bra as well but it was right on top of the box so let me go ahead and unbag that for you and I'll show you the product photo So this is one of their sleep tees. Um, I normally don't wear sleepwear because honestly I usually um, sleep naked. <laughs> Personally that's just my preference. Um, but in the winter I will wear a tank top or a lightweight sweatshirt and uh, like a lightweight pair of pants, uh, sleep pants. Um, but I was at Torrid um, a couple weeks ago, or more, more like a month ago, um, and I was looking in their clearance section and I found a sleep shirt and it was so comfortable it was a long sleeve just like this it was a darker um, one if I again if I find the picture I'll show it to you um, it's a little bit darker of a tie-dye this is a beautiful mint tie-dye um, mint I feel like is a little more green I feel like this is more of an aqua tie-dye um, more of a brighter blue but it's super super lightweight and soft and it's got like a really soft fleecy material so this is just great on like a chilly day. I would just wear it as a regular shirt, to be honest. Um, their sleepwear is so soft, it is ridiculous. Um, and it's, uh, I got this in a one, so it's probably gonna fit me um, pretty much perfectly. I really, really like this. Um, it is April right now. I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded since there are swimsuits. Um, it's obviously a little too warm to wear this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and box it up. Again, I live in Western New York. I have different seasonal wardrobes. So this is gonna go into my fall and winter wardrobe. So I'll have a nice cute piece. I think this was either on clearance or I got it with my hot cash. Um, but I always try to stock up on the next season's uh, clothing when I can. So my last haul had a lot of um, sweatshirts like this and active sweatshirts so that I'll have them for next season because um, I don't have a lot of active wear for the winter. Um, but I really, really like this sweater. It's super, super soft. I highly recommend it. Again, I'll put the links down below, so if it is still available at the time that I upload this video, you'll be able to go and grab it. Again, I'm also a Poshmark, Poshmark seller, so I always recommend if there's a piece you really, really like, you can, like, tour it all over Poshmark because people are changing sizes, especially the active wear. It is all over Poshmark. So there's plenty out there. Twos and ones are one of the most popular sizes as well. Um, and the larger sizes. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. Torrid runs between a double zero and a five or a six. So they go pretty large in their size range. Um, I know somebody that, my mom, she kind of runs between a large and an extra large. She's able to wear the zero. So even if you're smaller, not like a medium to large, you can possibly fit their double zero. Um, I tend to run between I think, the larger size of an extra large to a 2x um, and kind of like if, if it's a you know what I mean like I tend to run between an extra large and a large or a extra large and a 2x but I highly do recommend this top um, but uh, being a Poshmark seller I will say if it's something you're looking for if you know the title or the name of the top or item that you're looking for you might be able to find it on Poshmark. It's always something worth looking for. I have gotten quite a few items from Poshmark from Torrid, so if you'd like a Torrid haul uh, from Poshmark, I'd be happy to do that. I love my Poshmark hauls, <laughs> my branded Poshmark hauls. Um, so I'm sure you saw me trying that on. It is so soft, I highly recommend that top. Um, so let me go ahead and dive into the next item. So I apologize, but if you skip a little bit further, you can get into the activewear and the swimsuits. Um, so I got this um, pleather leather bra in a one. Uh, hopefully it fits me fine. Again, I have uh, double Ds, uh, 40 double Ds. So I'm a little more busty, but usually I'm able to fit into a one in their activewear for the tops. I 
thought this was a super cute long line leather bra on their website and I just had to have it. And it's got a full cup so it should hold me just fine. But it's got this really cute little tailing on the front where it's laced up. Um, and it's, it's not removable but there are about seven hooks on the back. So it is not going anywhere. Um, it's going to stay in place pretty well. And it's got really nice meshing all around. So it's super, super stretchy. I can't wait to get into this bra. I think it looks super cute. This may even be a bra that I steal for cosplay, being a full coverage bra. Um, you're not really seeing much. <laughs> um, so I think this is super cute. It will get plenty of wear. And I'm sure Kevin will enjoy it as well. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get demonetized for wearing that. Not that I'm monetized to begin with. Um, so let me dive into this first active wear piece. It goes along with the piece that I'm going to be returning. So uh, they recently came out with their Love Sick collection, which is adorable. I love darker tie-dyes, um, and that is more in the, the darker tie-dye range. Um, I like tie-dye, but I don't like super bright tie-dyes. Like, the mint one is kind of a contradiction for me. Um, again, I I tend to go more on the darker side. I like my, my vintage gothic look. Um, I like the Morticia Adams look. Um, I That's just more my aesthetic. I mean, my active wear kind of shows that. I like to wear a lot more darker colors when it comes to greens and reds and blacks like that's kind of where I go and I love purple purple is also one of my favorite colors um, so this pair of shorts just says it all this is something that I was very interested in the downside is this patch here I was expecting it to be like a black matte patch um, it is actually velvet something about me and velvet just don't mix um, it's just texture wise just isn't isn't my favorite. I'm not a velour or velvet person. It's just, it, it's not as soft for my skin. I have, um, I have issues with some fabrics. My skin is very, very sensitive. Um, I have eczema as well. So I'm very picky when it comes to fabrics. So the pants are actually, the shorts themselves are actually pretty soft and they do have a really nice fleece on the inside. Um, this patch does bother me a little bit, but since it's just a patch in the corner of the pants, I will be able to ignore it and it's not touching my skin at all. Um, and it's got some adorable little pockets. Um, so I just wanted to get these lounge um, shorts to just hang around in the house with. Uh, I won't be able to work in them. Uh, I might wear them to the gym, we'll see. Um, but I thought these were super, super cute. So I'll probably try it on with this shirt or something. Um, but uh, yeah, so I really like these. <laughs> Moving on to the next item, which is also part of the Love It Sick collection is this top. Um, I got it in a one. I got, again got the shorts in a two. Um, the shirt itself is pretty soft. Um, I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag at all because this is going to be a return item for me. Um, it, I'll show you the picture here. Um, it has the larger patch on it, which again is velvet. Uh, when I went into the store to pick up my, uh, one pair of bottoms that aren't included in this because I wore it to my Aquafit class this morning. Um, I, they accidentally got sent to the store instead of to my house. That was a mistake on mine because I did uh, in-store pickup. I accidentally checked that. Um, I usually don't do in-store pickup. Um, sorry about the glare on my glasses. It's bothering me. Usually I don't wear my glasses, but since I did my work class without my glasses, I really wanted to put them back on. Uh, my next video, I probably won't wear my glasses though, but there's a large... Um, this this patch right here um on the shirt and i know it'll bother me dog hair is going to get all over it doesn't bother me as much with the shorts but there's no point in wearing a shirt if i can't actually get good wear out of it i know it would be a comfortable top i'm not saying that i recommend it at all like i'm not saying that i don't recommend it um just for me i know it's something that i'm not going to get wear out of so i'm actually going to go ahead and return this top um but it is super cute i really love this darker um, I actually don't see any purples. Oh, there's a little bit of purple on the back here. Um, this darker tie-dye, it's, it's more of my thing. I like the dark wash as well, along with like the bleaching effect. It's it's super cute in my opinion. I think we'll try and do all of the active wear before I get into the swimsuits. And we just finish up with the swimsuits. Okay, yeah, so this is the last item. 
Um, this is a super cute underwear tank top. I'm gonna go ahead and unbag this for you. So we got the super cute Ursula tank. Um, I actually got the activewear bottoms, um, which again, if you guys would like to see like my activewear sets or anything, please comment down below and I'll do those videos. It is currently in my closet and I absolutely loved it. Um, and I didn't get the tank top in that uh, order. So I decided to go ahead and order the tank top. Um, I am such a little mermaid person and I absolutely I love Ursula. She's one of my favorite villains. Um, she is cute and plus size and adorable. Um, and yeah, so I got this Ursula. Ironically, there's uh, some mermaid scale pieces in this as well. Um, but yeah, so it's a super cute tank. Um, I really liked the eels and everything. Um, it says Ursula on the bottom. I just love the coloring. And it's a nice uh, sweat wicking active tank. Um, so it'll be good to wear underneath my work shirt or to the gym with my other pieces. Um, and they do have this, it's a, a Disney partnered princess collection that it is from. Um, that's the thing with Torrid is, um, they actually partner with Disney and Marvel a lot. So I have some Black Widow pieces, uh, from the, I have DC pieces, I have Wonder Woman pieces. Um, so that's something really cool about Torrid is that they do partner with a lot of companies like that so they can have licensed pieces, which are pretty cool. They also do a Her Universe as well. Um, so you can get a lot of those really cool pieces in plus size that are just fashion. <laughs> um, I don't really, I'm not a trendy person. I don't really stick with trends. I just wear what makes me comfortable and happy. And uh, that makes me comfortable and happy. <laughs> So I'm sure you'll see me trying that on and it's super, super cute. Um, that's just your basic tank with a cute print on it. So moving on, I think I'll, I'll go into the pieces that I think we're all super excited about and then I'll go into the ones that I'm also super excited about but not as much. They're more uh, fit wear that I'm going to wear every day versus these ones that I will not be wearing in the public pool. Uh, so these are the scale pieces. Um, I got the bottom and the top. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the product photos. So this is this gorgeous black mermaid print, which is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's got this colorway. It's almost like, um, what, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't remember but that colorway where it goes um to multiple colors so it almost has like an aqua to a lighter blue to a uh like deep purple hue with a black background and it is absolutely gorgeous i don't i wish the camera would pick it up better it is absolutely gorgeous um but it's these cute uh swim bottoms that have this black mesh um, lace on the side as well, not lace, but um, cut out. I don't know if you can tell very well. Here, I'll try this side since the text on one side. But this is super cute. I have a pair of these in black, um, just on their own that I wear to the swim class, and it is super, super comfortable. I got these in a two, um, and they are high waisted and absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I did get the matching uh, tank exercise top with it. It does have um, a built-in pad, which is really, really nice. So uh, no nip slip, it's super comfortable. This might be a little tight on me. It looks a little small, um, but this is kind of your basic like tank swim top. I have a couple bras that are like this as well. Their ribbed bras are super comfortable, um, but this looks super, super cute. It's, just, it's not too much. The pattern speaks for itself. Um, and there is some boning on the side to give you some structure, um, but super, super cute. I'm going to try these on for you and I'm sure you can see how much I'm absolutely loving this print. This is literally my favorite print. I have the active, um, the active bra and exercise pants that I actually wore to the cycling class last week. Got so many compliments on it. I absolutely love it. Again, if you'd like me to do a set try on haul with those, I'd be super happy to. Um, but yeah, I am in love with this. Um, again, I swim at the, um, gym pool. So 
I don't want to ruin the uh, print at all because the chlorine is a higher content. Um, since there's so many people going in and out of it, especially with COVID, uh, they try to keep everybody separated as much as possible. But um, I don't want this print to get ruined at all. I have a couple. Um, I learned my lesson. I was wearing a, a red, white, and blue swim tank and it did get a little bleached. Um, so I would never wear these into that pool, but I might wear this to like the beach or for a cosplay thing or even just to exercise. Um, but these are definitely going in my uh, in my closet to be super comfortable. Um, I can't wait to actually get to wear them in person. They will get used. I just don't want to ruin them in the gym pool. <laughs> jumping into the last colorful piece. This is also a swim top. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this out for you. So as much as I love scales, I also really like dark galaxy galaxy prints as well. I'm that, that classic girl. I like dark galaxy prints. I like mermaid scales with black backgrounds and I like dark tie-dye. That's some of the color ways that I like. Um, so we have this, let's see if I can show it properly. We have this super cute swim tank that has this caging at the top and it's super, super cute. Uh, hopefully you'll get a better idea of how it looks from the product photo. It looks exactly like the product photo. Um, let me see if the back shows it any better. Um, but it goes crisscross in the back. Um, and it is adorable. I was honestly expecting it to be a little darker than it was, um, but I really like this. It's super, super cute. Um, I just got black bottoms uh, so that I could wear them in the pool. Uh, so I'll, I'll pair this with this. This may be a piece that I actually do wear in the pool because I won't mind as much as if it gets uh, a little darker or a little faded. Um, but I really like this. This is super, super cute. I do, again, highly recommend their swim tops and their uh, activewear items. They've gotten a lot better. Um, and this does have a little bit of boning on the sides as well for more support. Um, and I do, again, get the one uh, because I like things to be a little tighter in the top, especially because I am busty. And when I swim and, and like when I go to my like active swim class, I don't, I don't want anything going around. I learned that lesson. Um, I just wore a, you know, swim bathing, bathing suit for the beach and wasn't quite thinking about how I was going to actually be moving in it. Um, and yeah, you definitely need something a little more sturdy, um, which I will show you next, but this should work fine. But this is so cute and I'm sure you can see me loving it while I'm trying it on. Um, and a little bit of a spoiler, I'll probably be either trying it on with these pants or with uh, these next bottoms. So I got these super cute active shorts. Um, again, I got them in a two. Um, I thought these were super cute and great for the gym. Um, that way I don't get as much uh, chug rub. They've got these latticing um, on the sides, which I really, really like. And this one doesn't have the mesh on it, so it's just against your skin. Um, but they're cute little shorts. I was so excited to get a pair of shorts because usually I wear like a bikini bottom. Um, and I think this will be a nice, nice variation to have to pair with other items. Um, and again, it is this really nice swim active wear that is so comfortable. <sighs> I am, again, super excited for them. Um, and it's got this like meshing on the inside, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so there's like two layers. There's like this outer swim material and this material, which I think is really good for active wear. I'm super excited for these. I know they're plain and they're just black, but these will get lots and lots of use out of them, especially going to my AquaFit class. So moving on to the last one, which is the swim top. This is our very last item in today's haul. We have this active swim top, which is the exact same as the scale one, just in plain black, uh, which I wanted to have for swim active wear, um, which this will get so much use out of in the pool. Again, there's a little bit of boning on the side 
um, but this will pair very well with those shorts and I did get the matching um, activewear bottoms which I'll put the picture here again I wore them today to the gym so I'll just show a picture the product photo it looks exactly like it um, but it matches this top perfectly it has like the meshing sides it's literally the same bottoms as the scale one just in plain black um, so I basically have the same set one with the scales one without the scales so I can get use out of this wearing it to the active pool my active my Aquafit class and then I have another pair that I can wear whenever I just go to a pool or whenever I go somewhere nice to have a nicer swimsuit to wear um, but I know I will get so much wear out of this I'll try this on with probably these bottoms um, I love these so so much um, and I'm not really sure how to finish this video um, I love y'all so so much um, again if you like any of this if you like the style or want more torrid hauls I'd be absolutely happy to do more um, especially since again I'm not trying to buy very many items I just happen to have torrid cash from this past year and buying activewear for work um, so if you like any of those videos I can do some um, but I try not to spend very much money as much as I can because I'm putting money aside for a house so trying to do videos with items that are already in my closet is something that I want to try and do um, I'm also considering uh, doing some other types of videos aside from fashion um, if you have any suggestions please leave them down below so that I can still do YouTube still do other videos while still working my butt off at my full-time job uh, to save money instead of spending money on fashion as much as I love it I do have a priority to buy a house eventually um, I am spending money on a gym but that's for me and my health um, but I'm trying to save as much as I possibly can and I still love YouTube and I still love doing YouTube videos so I'd like to find something that works in between um, so even doing hauls from my own closet would be something I could possibly do if you guys are interested. Again, I love y'all so, so much. Sorry for those longest vi longish video. Uh, please subscribe, and I have many other videos similar to this uh, down in my videos <laughs> that I've uploaded. Um, again, I love y'all so, so much. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful, spooky evening. I love ya. Bye.